Oh hi, I'm the heretic. So I wish I could say that the title of this video was clickbait, but there's no other way to describe what happened just a few days ago at the time of this recording. So Hong Kong's retired Catholic bishop, Joseph Cardinal Zen, called out Pope Francis for selling out to totalitarians in China. But don't take my word for it. Do I think that the Vatican is selling out the Catholic Church in China? Yes, definitely. So what happened? Since the 1950s, Catholicism in China is banned. Actually, that's not quite true. Catholic worship is regulated through a body known as the Chinese Catholic Patriotic Organization, established by the government in 1957 as a counter-church. Catholic worship outside the Patriotic Association is illegal under the aforementioned ban, and this is enforced not only by imprisoning priests not sanctioned by the Patriotic Association, but churches that are built without the government's approval are torn down, and unsanctioned priests have been known to disappear without a trace. So what's a pope to do when his flock and his chosen bishops are facing persecution and imprisonment in such an anti-theist society? Sell them out, of course. The Vatican is ceding control of the appointment of bishops in China to the Chinese Catholic Patriotic Association. Under ordinary Catholic hierarchy, the pope appoints bishop to a diocese, but in Francis's deal with the devil, the Patriotic Association will usurp the Pope's power and appoint their own selection of bishops to Chinese dioceses. The Pope only having a weak veto power that he, in turn, must justify to the Patriotic Association who reserve full rights to just ignore it. This comes after new regulations on religious practices in China will now be more strictly enforced starting February 1st, 2018. The underground Church of the Catacombs, as it is known, will not be tolerated. By officially recognizing the Communist Party's right to usurp the power of the Pope, Francis has given his approval for this persecution. Chinese Catholics have suffered since the 50s. They maintain their faith, their diligence, and their loyalty to the Vatican for decades only to be sold down the river by an imbecile who knew full well what is happening in China. How do I know Francis knew? According to Cardinal Zen's open letter, he met with Pope Francis repeatedly, even gaining a 30-minute private audience with His Holiness, and he ignored it. He could have done so much, using his platform as the head of the Catholic Church to speak out against the rampant human rights abuses in China, give Chinese Catholics moral support and dismantle China's international credibility and influence, all through mere words. But here's the thing, China's abuses towards Catholics is only the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure you all remember China's attempt at population control, the one-child policy that forced families to only have one child. It was enforced through forcing mothers to have abortions, which, according to the State Department, could have been anywhere from 13 to 23 million per year. And that's just the beginning. From the State Department's reports on human rights, on their executive summary for China, abuses documented include alleged extrajudicial killings, executions without due process, prolonged illegal detentions at unofficial holding facilities known as black jails, torture and coerced confessions of prisoners, detention and harassment of lawyers who took on sensitive cases, journalists, writers, bloggers, dissidents, petitioners, and others whose actions the authorities have deemed unacceptable. These are not good people, let alone good Christians. Yet these are who Pope Francis surrendered to. This is who will decide who gets to become bishop in China. The Chinese Catholic Patriotic Association is exactly as Orwellian as it sounds. It's a subversive organization intent on twisting Catholic doctrine and usurping God's word with that of the Communist Party. You think they care what God has to say? They didn't even listen to the Pope. Another reason why this matters is that in Catholicism, the bishop is in charge of appointing priests. They run the Catholic schools and universities in their diocese. To say that they're influential on the congregation is understating it. Imagine being a Catholic and going to a church led by a communist priest who uses the Bible to exalt the state. Meanwhile, you're going to school and all the teachers in your Catholic school are communist party bureaucrats, handpicked by the bishop. I mean, of course they'll be. The bishop was handpicked by the party. You think this association will appoint Catholic bishops? Of course not. Their bishops will be Communist Party loyalists, no matter how incompatible Catholicism and Communism is. Men who will look upon these reprehensible human rights abuses and find some justification or even support for it in the Bible. These bishops will, in turn, be eligible for promotion to Archbishop, Cardinal, and, in theory, Pope. Yeah, that's a pleasant thought. 
literal stages clergy being eligible for becoming in charge of one of the largest religions on earth. But what about the lay people? These 10 million Chinese Catholics who will now have the word of God filtered through Communist Party bureaucrats. The Vatican has abandoned them. The Pope they held up for decades in loyalty to has betrayed them. For what? Francis didn't get any priests freed from Chinese jails, and I can only guarantee that the Chinese treatment of Catholics will not improve. He just wanted to be liked by the Chinese anti-theist totalitarian regime. At least Judas got some silver out of it when he sold out Jesus Christ. It reminds me of the time Pope John Paul II spoke out to Catholics in his native Poland to quell the Solidarity Movement and to stop speaking out and stop demonstrating against the Soviet puppet government in Poland. Oh wait! He actually spoke out against communist oppression and in favor of the pro-freedom Solidarity Movement. And that was just two popes ago. Ugh, at least Pope Benedict XVI was harmless. The worst part is that us Catholics are stuck with this heretic, this unchristian false prophet until he dies. Now, I'm not saying the Pope has to be anarchist. I'm not even saying he has to be libertarian. Just be Catholic. I hold the Pope to the highest standard imaginable, as he should be the closest thing to God's representative on earth. To err is only human, but to fall short to an extent that I would not even accept from an average Joe is to be part of a special and unique category. Now, I say this as a practicing Catholic, with all the love and respect to the office of the pontiff that is due. Fuck Pope Francis. Fuck the Pope. I wouldn't be upset if he chose to resign, like Pope Benedict XVI did. The sooner he's gone, the quicker the Catholic Church can get back on track. Questions, comments, critique? How horrible of a Catholic am I? What are your favorite moments of Pope Francis demonstrating his true faith in the religion of statism? Like, share, and subscribe to become a heretic today, and not of the Pope Francis variety.